In this video, I'll show you how you can customize the playback control in your Adobe Captivate eLearning project. Okay, let's get started here. I got a message from Hannah. Hannah writes, please could you make a video with the progress bar? And she has some other questions as well, and I'll address those either in a separate video or within the comments section of the video that she placed her comments in. Uh, so I realized that when I wrote this, I thought, oh, I'll just send her the link to the video that I have that talks about the playback controls, which the progress bar is one of them. And that's when I realized, oh, I don't have that video. So this is what we're going to do today. So I loaded an example course where I use the playback controls. Generally, I make my own navigation controls, um, but there was an occasion a few years ago for an organization that I worked for, uh, in this case, actually an international airport that does its own e-learning. And of course, I was under contract to them to develop some e-learning. And here's an example of one of their courses. Now, because there was a requirement to have certain controls, including closed captioning, uh, amongst other controls, I did set up a playback control for this particular course. Let me take you through some of the functionality. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this particular skin, uh, which I should show you where that's, that comes from. You're going to access that from the project drop-down menu and select uh, the skin editor. Alternatively, you can press Shift F11, and that will bring you up this window here. Incidentally, you can access the border control, which will also allow you to set the HTML background color. This is the color in the background of your e-learning. That's just part of your browser. Also, you've got your table of contents uh, controls as well. And I've done a video on that before for sure, and I'll put a link to it right here. So let's go back to the playback control section. Now I'm going to reset this just to a default choice here. Uh, Captivate default is a, is a good choice. And we're going to start from scratch. We're going to pretend like I didn't already make the playback controls for this particular course. Now you can see with my design, because this particular organization has a certain branding style and standards that you must adhere to, there's colors and so forth that, that need to be included. I've actually already created the space where a toolbar would go. And of course, I'm just going to make sure that show playback control is checked off. The one option that's available right below that is the ability to hide the playback control when you get to the final quiz. This might be important because you may not want to, to have your learners navigate using either the progress bar or the navigation controls back to where the course content is and basically cheat on the final exam. So hiding the playback control during the quiz is probably recommended, but that's a choice that you can make. Now this option here, as you can see, I've, I've left space for the playback control. So I want to check off playback overlay, which means that the playback control will now sit in that little blue space that I've created for it here. Now you can see that there's actually a space for that uh, border. I don't want to show border, so I'm going to uncheck that. Let's go back to playback controls. So this is pretty much what I had in mind. You know, I've got the space for this particular toolbar, but unfortunately the background of the toolbar doesn't match that blue space that I actually want. So there's a couple of things you can do. You can make the, uh, the, the alpha setting for that particular playback control zero, and that will allow the blue now to show through. But if you are going to customize your playback colors, uh, you're going to want to check this off, see what happens here, uh, and then change the background color to the same thing, set the alpha to zero or completely transparent. And that now takes care of that. Let's get into the customization of the buttons in a moment. I just want to point out that you can choose different playback uh, play bars, uh, and you can set them up to either take up a single row like this one, which is what I'll choose, or you can actually have it be two rows, which might be advantageous, especially for mobile. 
that's going to give each button more space where a thumb or an index finger could press it. But let's uh, let's make these choices now. We're going to uncheck uh, the two rows there, and we're going to customize this button. Now here's an example of a button that matches the branding of this particular course. So we're going to actually borrow the colors from that. And this is one of the great advantages of having this preview window uh, to show you what your toolbar will look like once you're finished with it. So first of all, let's, um, let's go with the button face itself. The button face, uh, we're going to make it the same color as this button right here. Now this is a, actually, it's hard to see from, probably in the YouTube video, but this is a gradient. Uh, so I'm just going to pick something roughly in the middle, maybe closer to the top. So we've got a blue button with a darker blue background and the button face is going to be white. That's the icon itself. And the button glow will also be white. We'll just keep it very simple here. Now you can see that there are options for you to select the position. It can be, uh, the default is bottom, but you could put it on the right hand side of the screen, left hand side, and the top as well. Uh, I'm going to stick with the bottom because that's what we've designed for in this case, but you are of course free to do whatever you wish for your own designs. And now we're into uh, making some selections as far as what buttons we're going to need to see. Now, obviously, the progress bar is something that can be turned on and off from here. So that addresses Hannah's issue. Uh, turning it on, of course, gives it the full width here. And of course, the layout of stretched uh, would be an option that would maximize that progress bar. But if you were to choose bottom centered, for example, becomes very small. Uh, so if you're looking for the stretched effect, that's probably your best bet there. Now here's where you can uh, check off the items that you're going to want to include. Uh, for this particular course, because I had certain requirements that not only the, the branding kind of dictated, but the organization had requirements for this e-learning course. They didn't want fast forward or rewind. They actually didn't want a progress bar. Sorry, Hannah. Uh, but they do want closed captioning because there's narration throughout the course. And they wanted forward, back, close, play, mute. The rest is pretty much how they would want it. Now, with the closed captioning, you'll notice that there's a, buttons, uh, for, a button for settings. Here you can further customize what the closed captioning settings should be. My recommendation would be I'd rather go with two lines rather than three lines give them a larger font. Uh, I recommend choosing a web safe font. In this case, we chose uh, Trebuchet MS because that was very close to the font that this company used for the rest of their branding. Again, the background, uh, you can actually choose the same color, let's say, as the, the, the bar itself, and that will create an overlay that extends up. And of course, the color of the font itself should greatly contrast the background just to ensure that you're adhering to accessibility standards for your region. Um, I would also recommend that you un or you check off no tool tips at runtime. The reason being is that you're going to get these hover effects that describe what these buttons are. And this may or may not be in the language that's appropriate for how you're publishing. For example, in Canada, we have two official languages. I've got English and French. And uh, without having to get into separate localization files, uh, the easiest solution is not to have hover effects. And especially now in a mobile first world, uh, you're not going to see as much mouse over and hover effects in the future anyway. So uh, that's pretty much set up there. So that pretty much covers everything within the uh, playback controls and hopefully that addresses Hannah's question. Guys, if you like the uh, videos that I produce for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and if you thought this video was helpful or useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.